uh, and I have been in Gundam 00 and all these things, but I play characters like in Death Note, I play characters that always get killed off in the first episode and the second episode, so that's kind of my thing. Um, I was the first guy that was on the motorcycle that was <clears throat> apparently, I'm um, sorry to say, I was going to try and uh, have his way with that poor girl. And I also played one of the Death Notes as well. Uh, so you have to look on the credits, and it'll be up to you to figure it out who. But I, but I, I've been in a lot of things. But but when I when I was calling to Iron Man because I am a geek and I'm a comic book fanatic, so I I played Modok in that, and and so it was like uh, designation Iron Man expendable. So it's this floating head, and as soon as I got the part, I'm like, oh my god, I'm Iron Man. <laughs> so immediately, I went to every comic book store and I bought up every back issue where Modoc occurred. And that's what I was doing this morning as well. <laughs> that's why you were late. That's why I was late. I was at the comic book store on 4th Avenue, which is moving, by the way, and they're having a huge sale. I'm not promoting them, but yeah, they're moving. <laughs> I know, so like 80% off all the back issues. So I know, right? Anyway, okay, I promoted them enough. Okay, that's me. Next question. Next question, anybody? You said you were um, George of the Jungle. Does that mean you were Dave the Barbarian? Probably. That the same. I'm probably. <laughs> probably. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, this is about Iron Man. This is about these guys, because I'm only a little part of Iron Man, but that's why these guys are here. Please. Question. Purple hair. Fuchsia. Fuchsia. Fuchsia hair. myself on the internet, I, I saw, hey, English trailer for Gundam Double Tag on that. And then I see this guy talking and blah, blah, being all cool and stuff, and that's me! <laughs> it was actually really cool to see, because if I looked at what the guy was doing visually, and it actually, my voice work really matched it. And I thought, well, wow, that's really cool. Because, you know, it didn't, it didn't look like incongruous, like, when the guy's moving all cool and the voice is like, hey, what's happening? What's going on? And, you know, it wasn't like that at all, so I, I found that quite, quite exciting. Yeah. And as for um, what you said about being heard all over the world, I had a, kind of a special moment myself. Um, yeah, I, guess that's the I had a special, uh, a special moment myself. Is, uh, a friend of mine was, uh, who's an actor was shooting something in Argentina, and uh, he was in some remote part of Argentina, and this um, this metro train came by, and the entire side of the train 
was an ad for Iron Man Armored Adventures. Uh, and so I just opened my email one day, and there it was. And it hadn't really hit me until I saw that. That you know, I like like I said, like I was a big fan of the X Men cartoons and Batman and all that. And that's the stuff that inspired me and really ignited my imagination as a kid. And so for me, it was a really special moment just to know that you know. There are kids watching in Argentina that maybe are having the same experience that I had as a kid. That maybe, you know, I'm It's universal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's I, universal. Yeah. And I had a friend, uh, I happened to be visiting a friend, and he had um, uh, younger kids, and it was a Sunday morning, and they had Teletoon on, and all of a sudden Iron Man and Armored Adventures came on. Right. And so my friend was trying to explain to his son, like, actually, the, my friend Dan, it, that's, that's him on the cartoon. And, and he was like, what do you mean? Yeah. He's like, well, no, it's his voice. And he's like, and he, I think he was eight. He just, he just, no, it, it, he couldn't connect that it was yeah. me. I've had the same uh, thing. So then I said the yeah. next line before I knew the episode. So I said the next line, and his face was just, he, he could not believe it. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, well, you're the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Yeah. That was fun. My little four-year-old nephew did the same thing. I was actually at a TV movie or something I was in. And I, we were sitting around having family dinner, and they go, oh, look, there's Uncle Alex, Uncle Alex is right there. And little Sammy's just like, <laughs> you freaked him out! Just, you freaked him out! It's you! Yeah. But you're here! That's <laughs> you! But you're here! <laughs> I mean, seriously, it was so funny. Because the little minds are trying to figure out how can they be in two places at once?